So, so back uh, from the school, uh, skipping the last two lessons. Uh, well, like this question, like what, what love is? Uh, well, I cannot teach love. It's, it's something that uh, might rise uh, naturally from uh, within. Today we had this uh, funny episode in in the school. And there's this, um, like, uh, I had this good connection with uh, two young uh, students. And then they kind of uh, start to hold my hands and we walk around the hallway and we go outside and we walk together with these two little girls, like, they're like from, from second grade, like eight year old. And we kind of, uh, this, you know, one takes one one hand and the other takes my other hand and we simply walk in school back and forth and later we go to the music class and we sit and hold hands together and uh, in the between the classes we were like outside and playing and the children start to run towards me and I raise them up and lift them up and uh, they see the sky from my height and even higher so I was like playing around with these children at school and uh, then I go back to the teacher's room and I see that everybody's, um, as always, it's like uh, simply sitting and uh, watching as the mental patterns fly by. So it's again this uh, switch between a meditation and communication with the children, I mean true communication with the children, where you indeed uh, let them guide you, like children, especially little girls, I think uh, very connected to the Gaia, to the mother, to the necessary vibes right now and it feels so simple like, uh, uh, it's like uh, you don't have to think about it it's like from the heart so so you're gonna follow this feeling uh, and it's very heartful and it's kind of like uh, it's almost like uh, falling in love but today we're we were like practicing more like trust uh, we were, there's a lack of trust in the school system so we, by this, I'm a male grown up, and these were like two eight year old girls, so it was kind of this uh, trust connection between uh, older males and the young girls that was needs improvement, in my opinion. And we were, you know, I simply followed the guidance of these little girls, and we were improving the trust in the school system today. And I also showed them the crystal. Um, my girlfriend. Uh, beautiful crystal and I showed it to them and they kind of hold it for a while and they give it back to me so now this crystal also has this energies of these two little girls. One of them is very empath empathic, uh, she's been crying a lot in the school since last autumn. The other is very smart and one is very empathic, uh, very like open, open hearted and, uh, and uh, kind of uh, he healing, doing a healing uh, from from emotional level. She's like uh, very wise emotionally and open, more open than the other people at school, I think, I would say. And she hasn't to, she doesn't have to do all the work by herself. Uh, so we were also there and helping a little bit and the music teacher was kind of like getting a bit aggressive sometimes to like uh, holding hands together. Uh, it's very nice they put me sit uh, between them. We hold hands so like uh, and the music teacher sometimes shouts at children and we were like uh, responding with our love vibe towards this uh, music teacher. So it's, it's kind of funny and before in the teacher's room I had this uh, feeling of a god like uh, this uh, Hindu ashram like for example in Bushkar they have guts uh, next to the lakeside and there was like a yogi sitting there and these people start to gather there around me and realize doing things on different levels and it's very funny to see from different viewpoints it's just kind of like mm, you know they're, they're playing this school game and there's this teacher and this uh, they're very important uh, jobs with the papers and there's like uh, this beautiful uh, teachers who are like more happy and there's uh, old ones who are also happy and there are ones who are like a bit less happy and, and there's uh, you know some sometimes they like, talk to each other and, and uh, it's kind of, I see that they, like uh, I saw it from a different perspective like a yogic perspective as if they appear suddenly in my ashram where I would be sitting in meditation or something like this so, so uh, 
the, the, it's very easy nowadays to switch to the higher levels, to the higher perspective. Simply, uh, I follow my heart, and, uh, but sometimes and, and I have to escape fast or something, and uh, not nice. But uh, but usually, usually it's, it's it's getting easier and more simple and uh, more natural. I would say it's very simple today after morning Ashtanga yoga. It was getting so simple. We're like we're basically the Tibet, uh, Tibet and wisdom is coming in. We're all know the simplicity the truth is it's all you have is your body and your body is uh, for you to express love towards others and there's uh, not uh, nothing much uh, too complicated about this. but there's not much people around and uh, I think it's a good uh, good thing to do lecture while meditating alone and even though I should do more, but maybe nowadays it's good to practice communication with, with uh, others, especially children and young children, and also grown-ups, uh, if they finally start to say something uh, meaningful. <laughs> okay, this is it, too much talk already. Thank you.